It was 1959, a new year, a new season. La Crosse State College was celebrating its 50th anniversary. The air was filled with excitement and high hopes and of football. Football is part of the campus, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The years are filled with championships, wins, and losses. Friendships and bonds never broken. It was the team that made all the difference, then and now. Friendships were formed, they were strengthened, and legacies were made. It was all for the love of the game. I played baseball and basketball in high school, but not football. When I came to the campus in the fall of 1957, I knew that I was not good enough to play collegiate basketball, so I decided to go out for football. And that got me started on my football career here at uh, La Crosse. Pete Liebecki. Well, I'll tell you, he was a tiger on the football field. He had a passion, uh, just like the rest of our team, and I think that was one of what I would call a real defining character part of our 59 team, was the, uh, just that passion for the game of football. I was scared stiff. <laughs> uh, many of the players that came were all conference, all uh, league and everything else, and uh, I really was more like a a step on. I, I, I didn't have any credentials to be great, uh, so I was fearful. Uh, Larry always was so serious, I don't know if there was any funny things about Larry. You, you didn't make fun of Larry. Larry would pop you, okay? So I, 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 I just respected Larry as a player and as a friend. There were 450 high schools in the state of Wisconsin in 1959. I think three of them had weight rooms. Lop now had his own weights up in Whittick Hall around, on a wooden track that runs around the top. They would probably cuss me a little bit because I was always the first one in uh, after a workout. I loved to work out. <laughs> I was always in first and, and loved the stadium steps and the, the linemen hated it. Raj particularly, he'd say I was coming out of the showers and he would be just coming into the locker room. And I can remember more than once trudging over to Whittick Hall uh, to the locker room, which was in the basement, and sitting outside, and Ron would be showered, dressed, and on his way over to the cafeteria <laughs> to have lunch or dinner, and the rest of us were just dragging ourselves in. The love of the game to me means playing with your heart and soul uh, during the game and having a lot of respect uh, for the rules and regulations of the game. Well, in, in 1999, uh, we received a phone call, uh, and it's probably the phone call that every parent uh, would dread receiving, and it was that my daughter, uh, Laura, who was a flight nurse uh, in Arizona, was killed in a plane crash. and. Uh, she had two young grandsons. And, uh, and three years later, uh, on Thanksgiving weekend, uh, we received another phone call that was a tragedy in our family that the boys had lost their dad in a car accident. So uh, my wife Darlene and I have raised the boys uh, since that time in 1999. And uh, I can remember uh, the, difficult, the difficulty of that and how um, Johnny Thompson, Mike Hennessy, uh, Pete Liebecki, uh, and others, Jim Killian, uh, who were aware of this and uh, that we would talk on the phone. And what, a, what an encouragement that was and a strength uh, to walk through that situation. Uh, was really uh, just, I guess, kind of an afterplay of the 59 team, but it was something that, that personally helped me uh, uh, walk through that, that tragic situation. In uh, late summer of 2002, I received a letter from La Crosse 
uh, announcing that I was elected to the Athletic Wall of Fame. It was 42 years after I played football at this university. And I said to my son, why now? And he said, why not now, Dad? It's a legacy. And I said, a legacy? And he said, yeah. He said, what you have done has been an example to us, for, to your own children and now to your grandchildren. What I would like to tell my teammates is how much I appreciate uh, what I have learned from them over the years uh, and, and also want to let them know that uh, they played a major part in uh, the development of my life, uh, both personal and professional. It was the team that made all the difference. Friendships were formed, friendships were strengthened, and legacies were made. It was all for the love of the game.